So this is IFTTT. This is their um, home screen. And doesn't that look great? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, the crowd here seems to like it. So what's so great about it is that it's just so plug and play. It's, um, it's, it's pretty and it's simple. So you, you, you can't ask for more than that. And these are my applets that I have set up. And there's a couple of fun ones that I want to bring to your attention. Some stuff maybe you've never thought about before. There's some obvious ones um, that are just practical, but uh, I really like having fun with some of the ones that are more out of the box. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one. So what this says is if the weather changes, then post a tweet with an image to my Twitter account. Let me back up here because I didn't do a great job just sort of introducing what IFTT is, the essence of IFTT, and that is it connects applications and devices together to automate things to make your life just a little bit easier, okay? When do you think might be a good time to use something like this? I could think of a million ways, and I actually was inspired um, a while ago by a blog post that I read that talked about how um, the Coursering Group in New York uses this. So basically, whenever New York is forecast, well, actually, whenever it rains in New York, a tweet automatically goes out with an image, and it says, um, hey, New York, check out these top 10 things to do in New York when it rains, in the city when it rains something like that. So um, I thought that was a great idea. You can also time this for sunrise and sunset. So one of my clients was um, a an online Jewish magazine. And so what we did was we triggered a like Shabbat Shalom, happy Sabbath to go out with the sundown on Friday. So really cool. Um, what I did in this case, here's one, I'll show you a graphic. So when it rains in Cleveland, I send out this graphic and it says, it's raining Cleveland, a great time to get cozy and brush up on your social media. So think about the ways that you might use that, but you can also do it based on your calendar. So let me get back to here. So you could say on the first of every month to do this, um, you know, on every full moon do this. So really, really fun way to use IFTT. Let me go back over to my applets. Okay, um, now let's just talk about, I'm going to walk through these and we're just going to talk about some of these you probably already have set up. Look at this red square up here on the top right and it says, post your Instagram photos as native Twitter photos when Twitter is in the caption. So if you want your Instagram photos to show up nice and big and beautifully in the Twitter feed, that's all you have to do is, is set this, um, this applet up. And the reason you would do this is because if you just connect the app, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or anything with Instagram, then you typically just end up with an ugly little link. Um, in this case, it posts the picture nice and big and bold and beautiful. But check this one out. So on Twitter, what this one says is, if anybody tweets with the phrase, I want to create a course, then send me a text message at this number. So really, anytime anybody tweets with that exact phrase, I'm going to get a, uh, a text message. Now, why is that a good idea? Like, why, why would I particularly want to have that information? Well, because I have a course that teaches people how to create courses. Now... Um, another experiment that I love to do is, and those of you who have followed me for a while have probably seen me do this a few times, but to be honest with you, it really never loses its novelty. As far as I'm concerned, this is just the coolest thing ever. And that is, um, you're going to go over to Twitter and then we're going to go to advanced search, which is twitter.com forward slash search dash advanced. All right. This is what we want. And where it says this exact phrase, I'm going to say, I need a graphic designer. And then we're going to click search. And what you see 
is um, all the people who have just tweeted that they need a graphic designer. This person is, guys, I need a graphic designer, someone to read design, to design logos, t-shirts, corporate branding, I'll pay market price, price, please retweet to assist, or please reply to a twist, resist, to assist, I need a graphic designer that's good at recreating logos, I mean, on and on, but you don't have time to sit here and hit advanced search all day long in Twitter. But what you do have time to do is to set this up. So maybe you're, if you're a graphic designer in these quotation marks, it would say, I want, let's see, I need a graphic designer. And then you're going to get a tweet every time someone says that. Pretty cool, right? Let's go back over to the other applets. And remember, don't worry, you know, don't worry about writing all this down. I am putting all this into a slick workbook that's going to be emailed out tomorrow. Of course, it's free. And um, I'm hopefully going to compile some of your suggestions for your favorite IFTT um, applets and recipes combined with these as well. Um, let's see here. What's the next one? Automatically sync starred emails in Gmail to Evernote. So I don't know about you, but I get a ton of email and a lot of them I don't have time to answer right away, but they're important and I don't want to forget about them. So I will star, I'll click the little star in Gmail and it'll automatically go to my Evernote. This next one, automatically create new reminders on your iPhone for emails that you star in Gmail. Um, yeah, that's redundant. Okay, email me 10 things to know in the morning. I love this one. This one I get, um, this is where I get great ideas for what to post on my social media because I've got New York Times result, New York Times. Basically, I get an alert from them with any breaking technology news. So if you're in the health and wellness space, then you would get breaking news for health and wellness and so on and so forth according to whatever your niche is. Um, what else did I want to point out? Oh, this one's cool. So whenever you arrive in the city in New York, um, send yourself a map of the subway. So I'm there quite a bit these days because uh, I've been uh, participating in Todd Herman's um, base camp mastermind. And so it's cool. The minute that I land, I get an email with the map of the subway system. This one saves my tush more times than I can even tell you. This is set an SMS alert before any event starts on your Google Calendar. So, for example, today I had a client call at 10 a.m. I almost forgot about it, but I got a text message uh, 15 minutes prior to the meeting that said, your meeting with so-and-so is starting at 10 a.m. So that was really helpful. Um, uh Every morning at 7 a.m., I get the forecast for the day. This one, pin a photo to a Pinterest board. Um, and this one, I highly recommend right here where it says, uh, if new IFTT update, then send me a text message. Um, and that's because IFTTT is constantly adding new integrations, new devices and so softwares and platforms that they um, integrate with. And you'll find out about it if you set up that rule. So let me show you quickly, um, starting from the beginning, how you set up one of these easy peasy little recipes. And see, look at how beautiful this is. It's so like, I just love how clean and simple it is. So you're just going to follow the prompts. So we're going to click here, if this, now look at all these things we have to choose from. We could connect any of this stuff together, even your washing machine, okay? Your washing machine, light bulbs, um, survey monkey. I mean, I'm just randomly, your Nest thermostat, on and on and on and on and on. So many things. Okay, so let's say um, it, you don't want to scroll through all these things and you know what it is you want to connect, then you could just start typing it in, date and time. And now I could say every day at a certain time, every hour, every day of the week, every year uh, on a certain date and time that you specify, every month on the whatever day of every month. So every single person that's watching 
with your audience, there's something you can come up with that would be of value to your audience to send to them on the first of every month um, or at the last day of every month to check in and say, hey, you know, it's the last day of the month. Did you do such and so? Or this is a reminder to do such and so. So explore this and have fun with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say every month on the first of the month, and then we're going to click create trigger. And then the next prompt we get is this blue that. So now we're going to click on that. And what do we want to do? What do we want to do on the first of every month? Um, gosh, we have so many options. So I'm going to say Facebook page. And I'm going to say that I want to, I could either just create a status message or post the link or I can upload a photo from a URL. So that's probably going to be the best thing to do. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to put in the photo URL. Now, quick tip, little pro tip for you. In order to get a really easy, clean URL um, for a photo, like the one that I showed you here that I have that goes out on a tweet every time that it rains is to go over to Amazon S3. Now, I'm warning you now that if you're not familiar with Amazon S3, when you look at it, you're gonna go, oh yeah, yeah, this is more than I wanna take on, but if you just follow exactly what I'm doing, you're gonna be fine. And now look at this, teeny weeny weeny, right there, S3, that's what you want. And what I'm showing you is basically a cloud but the great thing about Amazon S3 is that, number one, stuff uploads lightning fast. Um, you can create these buckets to organize your content. And the truth is I need to go in there and add a few more buckets and organize myself a little better. But you can create these buckets and then, um, and then you upload videos or graphics or PDFs, documents, and it gives you these shareable links. And it, I don't even know what I pay for this. It's so inexpensive, maybe $5 a month. And I have so many videos, so much content, and I've never gotten a message that says, like, you're, you're running low on content. And it's extraordinarily reliable. In fact, there's a lot of big name systems um, platforms like teaching platforms and I don't want to name them right now because I used one the other day and I can't remember which one it was um, like I don't know if it was teachable I don't know where I was but the point is a lot of big companies that house your content already use Amazon at S3 to host so that just shows you like how how kind of durable it is or dependable I should say so okay so here we are and um, I'll just go over here to this one because this is where I just uploaded that little dog graphic. And you click Upload, and then you're going to click Add File. And I recommend for this purpose to find a, uh, a PNG document, um, which is what Canva, if you create your graphic in Canva, it will default to that format. So let me go to Downloads because I know I have one there. Well, I thought I did. So now what I'm going to do is just click .png in my search, and that'll bring something up just so I could demonstrate. Okay, so we'll just pick this and then click open. And then don't forget this part in the lower right hand corner click start upload okay done do you see how fast that was that's insane done not only that i'm live streaming and i've got all these things open and that just happened that fast so then this is very very important you're going to click to the left of that file it's blue now and then you're going to click properties and you're going to click permissions and then add more permissions and you're going to click open download you're going to check that check the little box and then you're going to make sure on the pop-up menu click everyone then click save now we're going to hit reload on this 
and there's the file. We're going to click the little blue button again, click Properties again, and then there it is. There's our beautiful little link. So you just turn that graphic into a link. This also, by the way, works really well as a lead magnet. So, you know, um, as opposed to so like when you send a thank you after someone opts into your thing um, or on the thank you button on your lead page, you can have this be the link. So they are immediately click on it and they're automatically taken right to the thing that they opted in for. So very, very cool. All right. So let's go back over here. So the photo URL would be whatever it was that we just created. And then you'd put your message here. It's the first of the month. It's la 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 and then just click create action and then that's going to be um, your IFTT recipe there. So uh, that's it. That's how you create a recipe. It's just gonna it's just gonna walk you through. It's totally plug and play. Please feel free to comment down below and um, share your favorite IFTTT applet with us. And for those of you who are just joining us, this will be uh, mailed out to you. If you're on my email list, you're going to get the beautiful workbook that I'm creating, which is uh, a compilation of all my favorite IFTT recipes, some that we mentioned today and some that I did not get a chance to mention. So on that note, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. And I, um, I hope you have some nice, zesty, delicious tacos tonight because it is Taco Tuesday.